What's good my friends and welcome back to the channel. Okay, today's video, today's video we're going to be talking about path projects. Now, many of you have heard of path projects. They've been around since 2017 and I've kind of, kind of been checking these guys out for the last couple of years, but until now I haven't used any path projects products. That's a tongue twister. I know I went right to this cup, but it took me like four takes to nail path projects products. Anyway, I remember, I think Billy Yang did a video ages ago. I don't even remember when I saw it talking about maybe his favorite things or shorts he wore while running. And I know Kofuzi did a video a while ago now, and I tend to think it was about cold weather stuff. Okay, let's just jump right in. The founder, Scott Bailey, he wanted a pair of running shorts that were truly functional. You know, and there was kind of a disconnect between the running shorts that usually have a liner and there can be a lot of chafing from that liner. This guy thought, you know what I need to do? I need to, I need to separate the two. So the whole concept behind the Path Projects running shorts is that there are the shorts and then there is a separate liner. I've seen a lot of people wearing this stuff over the years, but I wasn't sure it was for me. And I'll tell you why, because I live in Florida and it's usually very hot here for at least you know, nine months of the year, pretty warm. And I wasn't sure about having that separate base liner, but all that's changed. I'm not gonna give you my opinion just yet. I'm gonna go for a run and then we're gonna tell you about it. Path Projects is an apparel company, but I'd say they, they specialize in running shorts. I'll jump right ahead and I'll give you a, give you a little preview. I think these are the best running shorts I've ever run in. My name's Matt, this is your first time here. On this channel, we talk about running. If you like running, if you like running clothes, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, consider doing so right now. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so you're notified every time I drop a new video. Okay, we're talking about Path Projects and I'm gonna go for a run in a pair of Path Projects shorts. Don't worry, I'm gonna tell you all about them. There's actually a lot to talk about with these running shorts, with the material, how they feel, uh, pockets. It's pretty exciting stuff. Okay, I'm going for a run. Oh yeah, what's good everyone? Now that was a great run. Just like last time, I struggled to commit with doing a longer run, but I just felt better as the run went on. And I actually, I actually ended up logging 20.1 miles this morning, which is 32.35 kilometers. And um, yeah, pretty stoked. My legs feel fine. Uh, let's see, so the average pace was 8.37 a mile, which is about 5.21 a kilometer. So nice and slow but I started out a lot slower than that and I just felt better as the run went on and probably could have run a bit further, but you know, time is of the essence and this is a day off and I've got other things to do. I can't, can't spend every day running all day, but it was still toasty. Oh boy, was it ever toasty. 74 degrees or 23.33 Celsius. And I wore my new Path Projects Sykes AT I forget right now what baseliner I wore, but I tell you what, I didn't have any chafing whatsoever. Not a hint of chafing. It was, um, it was actually pretty refreshing to be that soaking wet on the run for almost three hours and then no chafing whatsoever. Pretty happy with that. Yeah, I mean, listen, I've run in these shorts a couple of times already, but I have never been out for almost three hours and gotta say, pretty impressed. All right. Let's see, so we've gone over the distance, we've gone over the weather. I think that's probably it. Let me get back inside and get cleaned up and get showered because um, 
starting to smell, starting to smell a bit. Oh, and I also rock this fantastic hat, but I'll tell you more about that inside. Ah, uh, maybe, maybe not, because this stuff is going to go right in the wash. Anyway, see you in a minute. So let's talk, uh, let's talk Path Projects gear. And I know I said I was going to throw it in the wash. I did put it in the wash. And by the magic of television, I have clean clothes. I have a clean hat and clean shorts again, which is pretty good because now I'm going to tell you all about it. So let me just start with this hat. This is the Big Bend Trucker hat. And generally speaking, in the past, I haven't really liked trucker hats because of the super large crown, like the huge part on top. Didn't really like how it goes, especially for running. This just changes everything because it's a trucker hat style and it kind of hugs your head towards the top. So the crown isn't as pronounced. Just kept my head nice and cool throughout the whole run. So Big Ben trucker hat, very happy with that. Probably gonna order the other color in the same hat. So look, I told you about the hat and you may be wondering, Matt, why do I wanna wear two things instead of one? Like if I'm putting on some running shorts, they have a liner, why do I wanna kind of take an extra step and wear a liner and then put shorts on? I get where that question is coming from because I felt exactly the same way. However, if you're interested, if you've heard about Path Projects, if this is the first time you're hearing about Path Projects and you're wondering, huh, I wonder if it works. It does work. and. I'll tell you why. And I was thinking about this as I was running and I was soaking wet because with a liner, hold on, let me just grab some shorts with a liner. So here we go. With a liner, it's attached to the outside short. So when you're running, you know, these liners are not like tight against your body. They're still a little loose. So when you're running, your legs are kind of moving the fabric and I don't know, 80%, 90% of the time, it's okay. It doesn't chafe. I get a lot of chafing on the inside of my legs. Not gonna go too much more into it than that, but I do get chafing on the inside of my legs and it's usually caused by the liner. And I end up putting on body glide before every run, just in case, just in case I need to put that chafing away. The body glide tends to work. Sometimes the body glide doesn't work and I still get chafing. But what I found with having a separate base layer, so more like running underwear and then a shell type shorts on top, is that the shorts kind of made me feel free. Like I was running and flowing and the wind was blowing and they were staying kind of dry. I mean, they were damp because it was very warm and I was sweating, but they were still staying kind of dry. And because I had that kind of, not compression, but kind of a little tight around my legs, that running base layer, it just felt, I just need to come up with the right word to describe how it felt. It felt secure, all right? It felt secure and at no point was I worried about chafing because I didn't even feel where it could be chafing. Does that make sense? Oh, and I didn't put body glide on this morning. I, I figured, you know what, I'm gonna run 20 miles in these shorts. I'll suffer through it if I have to. Uh, I don't wanna wear body glide because I wanna see how they actually work. Worked like a charm. So let's get right on to the shorts because um, they're pretty revolutionary. They kind of had the, their own materials that they use. It's pretty impressive, pretty impressive stuff. But hold on, let me just talk about the shorts. This morning I was running in the Sykes AT five inch. So these are five inch and very comfortable, very comfortable length for me for running. Um, a lot of you have seen my videos where I'm wearing short three inch shorts. I wanted to go just a little longer, but not too long. Like I don't wanna wear basketball shorts. You know that old progression of runners, like when you're starting, you wear shorts down to your knees. Then as you get used to running, your shorts get shorter and shorter and shorter. Well, the five inch is like, it's that sweet spot. It's that Goldilocks spot of length for me for going out for a long time. They are so super light. The material, you know, it's very difficult to describe a material on camera, but it's almost like a shell. How many of you wore a shell suit back in the day? That's sort of what it reminds me of. Very quick dry. We have this pocket, which is right at the small of your back. This pocket is big enough to fit my iPhone 11 Pro, fit in the back pocket nicely, and there was no jostling as I was running. There is also two other zip pockets on each side. So this is one side, we have the center, we have another zip pocket, and there is a key pocket on the inside right there. Handy. You know what, when I'm wearing these shorts, I will not have to wear a flip belt. That's one less thing I actually have to put on. I'm not gonna show you the other shorts because they're also black, they're also five inch. They're just the Sykes PX. And 
Again, I have very much enjoyed running in them, but I just wanted to show you what I was running in today. The Sykes PX are just slightly more heavy than the Sykes AT. The Sykes AT are like just phantom weight. Like, there's nothing there. Feels like you're wearing nothing. All right, guys, I know this was a bit of a bit of a strange video. Don't often talk about brands, but you know what? These shorts, pretty impressed, and I wanted to share that with you because you know what? That may be bringing you just a little bit closer to getting these shorts and experience them for yourself. And I gotta send a shout out to my buddy, Mark Fleeman. He told me recently about how good they are, and I was like, yeah, I keep hearing about them keep hearing about them. If you do have any more questions about these shorts, something that I haven't answered, I know it's difficult to get into everything about how shorts feel on camera, go ahead and write in the comments below. Now the Sykes AT, the shorts that I was wearing, perfect for where I live. You may want to look into something maybe a little heavier, a little more protection. You're running in the cold, you know, and they have a boatload of products. There's also uh, running tights as a base layer. I don't know. Take a look at the website. I'll link it below, but it's pathprojects.com. So I probably don't have to link it. You can remember. Oh, I should mention this is not sponsored. These are just my own views. Path Projects did send me a couple pairs of shorts to try, um, I don't know, about a week ago. And they did not ask for a review video, but you know, it's what I do. It's kind of what this channel is. So if you've got any value, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, please do so right now. Hit that bell icon. Guys, I'll see you in a couple of days. New videos twice a week. Be kind, be happy, run well.